Hello everybody, my name is Anthony and welcome to a short little Let's Play series on Bad North. Uh, first things first, Happy New Year. Uh, this should be going up on the first, if I've actually timed everything correctly. So what is Bad North? It's kind of like a tower defense roguelike kind of game. It's a little bit hard for me to explain it uh, necessarily. Also, the game is a little bit loud, so I'm going to turn the volume down. Let's say that's by like two points right there. There we go. So, we're basically just going to jump straight into it. Uh, we're going to start off with basically two characters here. Uh, it doesn't really matter who they are. Can we can only select anything here. The answer is no, because this is the first time I've actually have played this game. I have seen other people play it. Um, I have seen, you know, streams and, uh, you know, some other kind of, like, let's plays of this game. So, I know the basics. But we're just going to begin right here. So. Generating a new campaign. Generating some islands. It's kind of almost FTL-y in a way. Also, I think this is still a little bit too loud. So, let's go down, like, three on both of these. So, we have a little island here. You know, click and drag, you can rotate the camera. Our job is essentially protect all these buildings. You protect the buildings, you'll make a little bit of money off that. So we can select soldiers, right click to move the squad. And your job is essentially to defend these houses from the bad guys that are going to show up on little boats. Like over here, we got three guys coming over here with swords. If we wanted to... We can go meet them on the island, you know, where they're about to land. And as soon as they start coming off the boat, we will just immediately begin attacking them. Very easily. Or what another thing we could do is we could stand on top of the hill here and have kind of like a high ground advantage. So here is the final wave. Five troops. It shouldn't be too difficult. Okay, there's going to be uh, another six coming in over here as well. But now that we've got the high ground, again, they're just trying to kill this building. We shouldn't take too many casualties, I believe. So far, we've actually taken none. As far as I can tell, that actually might be one of ours right there, but I... It's a little bit difficult to say. So there we go, fantastic. We got $3 out of this because we protected uh, our building here. We've killed 14 swordsmen. And we will continue on. So... As you see, it's kind of FTL-y in the sense that you kind of just choose where you're going to go, selecting new kind of zones. Uh, eventually, you know, you get some this diversion pass. You can kind of loop back, I believe. You know, we'll, we'll see if that's actually going to be necessary. We also have three coins. Uh, we can upgrade these guys basically to be archers, infantry, or pikes. Uh, I don't know if there's more classes than that. Uh, I've never seen anybody play. What do you want? Okay. Go for next turn. And also, yeah, there's basically a big ocean coming over here. We can't let this catch up to us or else we just uh, die, which is not great. So select our two guys here. We will deploy. So where's our opening here? So we got... We can probably just, like, defend here for right now. Got some boats coming in. I, I don't think it's gonna be too much of a hassle, but we will uh, see. You know, I'm actually gonna be these guys on the beach. I am not afraid of you. Just get a, like an immediate surround. We did lose one guy, I believe. Let's go back up here on the cliffs. We have six coming in, so we do not want to engage them, I believe, directly on the beachhead. We want them to come up. Onto the ramp where we should have some sort of high ground advantage. Again, they're trying to come up here to kill these buildings. So, as long as we can hold a defensive line, it should be okay. These guys will kind of go on the offensive, come back up here. We also got some more guys over here. I know there's other classes. Eventually, there's going to be archers uh, that are going to come kill us. There's going to be like these big, almost like brute units. I believe you can also kind of go inside the houses to heal. But it might be only be, be like specific houses you're actually able to do that in. But uh, we will see. I don't want you guys to fall back a little bit. Was this the final wave? I'm not too sure actually. But there we go. We have gotten five more golds. We're up to eight now, so we can actually upgrade these guys to be a little bit better. 
Uh, they're essentially just like militia units right now, which are not extremely good. So what's do we got over here? We got like a rose, which I believe is going to be a brand new uh, character. We're going to upgrade one of you to be an archer. The so Virgil, you are now an archer class. Uh, I would like to probably get pikes next. Because pikes are really good at defending um, high level... Defending cliffs, basically, because they, they have a long range. They can poke down the cliffs. So we're going to keep on going. Um, if one... See, we have one house right now. That is on the low ground. We'll put our archers here. These guys are going to be a little bit more mobile, because we are going to want to defend as much as we can. Okay, so they're coming in from this direction. We can't get... Can we get on this cliff? We can, actually. Okay. The camera's a little bit strange in this game, I will uh, admit. So the archers, they already seem to be doing a fantastic job. I don't know if there's friendly fire with the arrows. So I am a little bit worried about that, but you guys seem like you're okay. Move a little bit closer, because we have archers and we know for a fact they do not. That's giving us a massive advantage here. Where we can kind of just like sit back and not have to worry about anything really too much. Another six divisions. I mean, you killed six guys earlier. So I'm hoping you guys can do it again. You got two already. Before they even landed. Yeah, no, fantastic. Okay, so we got some more guys over here. You run to this corner. You're going to run over here. I don't know if them being on cliffs gives them better range or anything like that. Or better accuracy. But we should be able to come out of this completely unscathed kind of keep them in a choke point and we got another f a six group here which is a little bit dangerous but we need to kind of hold this uh, pass when will you actually have the range there you go we got one yeah so this is already that looks pretty well defended we defended the islands probably getting another five oh six gold fantastic we we'll probably actually get a uh, brand new unit as well. Actually, we're probably not going for pikemen first. I think I want to go for a swordsman next. This will be a new unit. A new, a new character, I should say. So I'm going to make you swordsman. Buy an upgrade. We don't have an item for you. We can make you into veterans for 12. We could do a volley from a modern location with a hail of arrows. And what, what's your bonus? You can perform a jumping attack from on, like off of a cliff, which seems pretty cool. We're going to go to Dusk. Get this character. Yes, thank you. Local commander. Catherine. We got two houses on the low ground. I believe they should be worth one each. We got swordsmen and we got our militia as well. So we're going to deploy you guys down to the south. Which way are enemy ships coming from? Okay, they're coming from this direction. So you guys are actually looking pretty okay. Maybe we can get all three of them before they actually land. Oh, these guys are actually archers. So these guys, I believe, can block the arrows with their shields. And will absolutely yeah, just murder them as soon as they uh, try to even land. You guys go over here. Switch out with purple. Because we should still be in a pretty well-defended location. Will we get everybody before they land? The answer is yes. Will we be able to get all these guys as well? Though? That's a great question. So you guys, please just tank some of these shots. You actually come over here now. As soon as the archers land, they're definitely going to die. One of my archers was hit, but that's okay. As long as the entire unit is not killed, they do, like, replenish every single island. So it's not a huge deal if things go kind of bad, as long as the, the general themselves is not dead. We got, looks like, seven. They're having some pretty bad shots right now, I got to admit. 
Let's go for a flank if we can. There we go. Boom. Fantastic. Getting us another five gold coins. And we have now unlocked, yeah, the archers. We killed 13 infantry, nine archers, sharp weapons. I believe you will be, will you be better as infantry then? Deals increased damage. Okay. So you're all tired at the moment. Uh, I'm going to upgrade you to pikes just because I can afford to do so. And our turn. So we have two things. We can either go... Okay, never mind. I guess I selected that we're going to go here. So, pikes. You should all be good to go, I believe. We're just going to deploy them. Swordsmen we're going to put down to the ground. Spears we're going to have here. And archers just here for the moment. Where are they approaching from? They're coming from this direction. So I'm actually going to hide my spearmen behind. Just because I don't want them to get shot at. Put my swordsmen a little bit closer to the front. See if they can maybe absorb some of those shots. And then our archers will be able to hopefully pick them off. Is there any more guys coming in? Yes, we got some archers over there. What if I, like, hide you behind the house here? Does that work? Or not behind the house, behind the cliff. Basically, I'm going to wait for them to actually land onto the beachhead, and then I'm going to storm in. There we go. I mean, it seemed like it worked out okay. Please actually kill him. You did. We got some swordsmen coming in from this direction. A pretty big selection of units, actually, as well. But you should basically have no problems dealing with this. Three more archers. You guys are defended. Uh, you are on the high ground. You might take some shots. We'll do like one volley and fall back. You guys are going to march over here. I think this makes most amount of sense. We got some guys approaching over in this direction. Archers are going to fall back. Just to attack these swords. And yeah, we seem to be doing pretty okay. Spearman we can still have over here. I would really like another archer unit. Okay, don't light the house on fire, please. I prefer to keep that intact. Kill this last guy, please. There we go. It was a little bit dicey. Swordsman took a lot of damage there, but we got a lot of money back out of that. So, 17 to 12. It's looking pretty okay, I would say. But hit the continue button. What's on mouse? A special little thing's on Mouse Island. I do not know what. Dusk is fine. We're, we're going to lose that island, but it's not a big deal. You've all been upgraded, so you are charge your pikes in a straight line. I think I want my archers just... I mean, you cost nine, actually. Um, you jump off a cliff. That's very situational, I think. So I'm actually not going to do anything. I'm going to go to Mouse Island, see what the special ability is here. They do got a new unit. That is risky, but there's a special option on the island, which I don't know what it is. So now I've got to know, right? Where are they coming from? Swordsmen, get on the low ground. Archers go here for now. And okay, they're approaching. I think this is fine. I want you to kill the archers first, if you can. There you go. And do as much damage to these swordsmen as you possibly can. Do maybe a little bit more than that, please. And reach them on the beach. Easy kill. 
This is just a pure swordsman uh, wave. By right, something like this. Move you a little bit closer. Yeah, stay stay away from my. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And as you can see, we've got some guys coming in here with their own shields. So they're going to be a little bit uh, more difficult to take care of. But we shouldn't have any actual problem here. Okay. You're going to be dead. Bring you guys back. You guys here. Put you actually on this side. And you guys march, meet the archers on the front lines. Final waves incoming. I'm not too worried about that. Are oh, you gonna come up here? That seems a little bit risky. Yeah, these guys will poke the hell out of you. No question about that at all. So we're gonna bring you, if this is the final wave, the archers again, just make short work out of everybody. Oh yeah, Pikeman, fantastic job. I am incredibly proud to have them on my team. They're doing, uh, they're pulling their weight. And how much money did I get out of that? Uh, nice six gold. And a Jebina. No idea what the hell that is, but I'm assuming it's an item for us. We got 15 coins now. Twice per turn. We don't have enough guys for that. I mean, that probably means something in the future. But for right now, kind of meaningless. So I think I'm actually going to upgrade my archers. Make them veterans. Because I think they're kind of like the backbone of the army right now. So we're going to go to Sandoy. Probably go to Bardsay and make our way down towards Barry over here. And I'm assuming once you have like a massive group. Like, I don't know how long this game goes on for i'm like i'm not too sure if there's an actual ending to bad north at least not that i've seen but you know no one i've actually watched play this has actually been good enough to actually get that far okay so where are they coming so we got two archers over here literally not a problem at all we got some of our, our elite archers over here so hopefully they can make some quick work out of them you know what? you actually go over here As soon as they land on the beaches, they should die. I'm assuming you either do more damage or you're like more accurate. And I'm not sure which one it is. Maybe you can take like one more hit. It, it's something like that. We got more archers to the north. Let's make our way over there and meet them. Yeah, Panther, doing doing a great job. As soon as you land, okay, we lost one infantry. That's not too bad. We've got a big group coming in from this direction. Oh, we actually have some guys coming in from behind us as well. What if we're going to do something like this? Get our archers in the back over here. If we can poke them before they even get off the boat. I don't want to lose a house. If we can avoid losing any houses, that'd be fantastic. I will admit, we've lost a decent amount of men. Like, we could replenish them if we needed to. I don't think it's necessary at the moment. Don't pause. How much does it cost to replenish? I'm going to bring these guys in to replenish. Oh, no, no, there we go. We just won. Fantastic. So that's going to be another pretty... What is that? Eight gold? Lovely, lovely, lovely. These first islands seem to be pretty much a cakewalk, but maybe we're going to have some problems soon. We're going to upgrade, I think, our swordsman into veteran. We have 11 coins, not 12. Never mind, we're going to end our turn here. 
We're going to go to Bardsay. We got two houses on the top here. And we got also got our... Uh, Our, like, militia troop. Send him down to the south. We do have a pretty high ledge over here. Is there a way they can actually reach us in the back? No. So if they land over here, they have to, um... Go through, like, a killing field, almost. Which there's no way they're gonna be able to make it through that entire, uh, line. I can't imagine that being the case. So move our archers up. You guys should... St uh, you did lose one man, but we should upgrade you up to um, veteran next level. We took one guy out. We can actually pull you back. You don't need to be this far forward. I don't know if you can poke from here, though. But we will see. Like, the pikemen really are just a defensive unit at the moment. Pull you guys up forward. I'm gonna bring the pikes down. There's nobody coming from the back, as far as I can tell, at the moment. You're looking kind of weak. I'm not liking that at the moment. Yeah, stay, like, right there. Yeah, it's not the final wave quite yet. Gonna replenish you. I don't know if I can force them out of replenishment, to be honest with you. I've okay, got some high ground here. Oh, doing fantastic work against these archers. Final waves incoming. Can I not get you out? Okay, well... Okay, no, they're out, they're out now. Fantastic. Is this it? Just six archers? That can't be the final wave. Come on now, that's almost insulting. That you would call this the final wave. Six archers. But no, I guess that's it. Fantastic. Three coins here, two coins here, one coin here. Six? Unfortunately, it's not enough to upgrade the militia. We're gonna need to... Wait. You're popular. Okay. We probably actually want to upgrade you first, and then wait one more island to upgrade, unfortunately. So popular is squad size plus one, so you're a little bit bigger than the rest. What do I want to do with you? Another swordsman, I think, is actually what I want. And what are your... Uh, twice per I, I don't think that's until we actually have the ability to attack more than twice per turn I think that's meaningless for us we're gonna go to Pat Bay next but I think this is gonna be a good time to end this first episode so thanks everybody for watching my name is Anthem if you enjoyed my thumbs up and now you like to thumbs down if you want to see me subscribe and goodbye